Happy Thanksgiving Day. As is known to us, the fourth Thursday of November is Thanksgiving Day. Traditionally, it is a holiday that people think about how grateful they are for their families and their own country. Here, right now, I'm standing at CS Hotel. We can see a lot of delicious foods and drinks here, and a lot of foreign teachers are enjoying their big meal. It's very warm here. Almost all the foreign teachers gathered together there. Some foreigners who had their own families in China were sitting together. They said what they want this day was sitting around and eating turkey with their family members. Undoubtedly, the beginning of the opening ceremony concerned the history of the Thanksgiving Day, which we were not familiar with former. Initially, Thanksgiving Day was just a hilt to thank for the Indians according to the history. But now, as a development of this festival, we give thanks for life as well as the loved ones and for our lasting pride in our communities and country. We took comfort in good memories while looking forward to the promise of change. As a different kind of delicious food, turkey was essential for the Thanksgiving Day. Besides turkey, there were also cold drink, soup, and some dessert, such as fruit salad, corn cream soup, and pumpkin pie. After the traditional food and the best wishes, let's have a look at the sport. Hello, everyone. Now I'm standing on the playground. Uh, behind me, our foreign teacher are holding a American med team uh, to celebrate the traditional holiday of Mark, the Thanksgiving Day. The native sport. American football match staged in the football field this morning. The players were evenly divided into four groups, which were red, black, green, and blue, respectively. Different color represent different groups. With the sports going on, my ears were full of their screaming and laughter. Everyone could realize how happy the foreign teachers were for their nation's festival, and all of them enjoyed their game. We play it. Every Thanksgiving, it is a tradition for us to watch football or else play football. Um, when you play, there are two teams that will go against each other, and you try to get the ball from one side of the field to the other side of the field. Um, and you can do this by throwing the ball or by uh, running with the ball. But if it touches the ground, it, has, it is a dead ball. You cannot play anymore, so it stops the play. Well, sports not only brought excitement, but it also was tiring. Let's have a short rest. Hello, Edward and Neil, two teachers at CS, were just over there. Let's see what they feel about Thanksgiving Day. So now in America, every year people celebrate having enough and having everything good that we have. So we remember to give thanks on that day. Thanksgiving Day in Canada is very special. It is a day for families and friends to come together and eat food. So for me, I often have two Thanksgiving meals. I will have Thanksgiving with my family, my sister and my parents. And then my friends and I will have a second party where we are thankful for our friendship. After that, two young students sent their best wishes to all of the foreign teachers. And in our school, a lot of foreign teachers come from America. America is far from the China, so the feeling about the homesick is very strong. Uh, I know at 5 o'clock p.m., here is a, a party in Peter Hall. I just, want to, uh, in, I just want to wish my foreign teachers have a good party and enjoy their party. And uh, best wishes for them. So at this important and very happy days, I want to say that a uh, happy Thanksgiving day to all the people, all the foreigners. Thank you. As we know, now Thanksgiving Day is not limited to Western countries. It's becoming more and more global. As in Asia, many people take this day as an opportunity to express gratitude to their families, friends, or anyone they think worth or thank you. Like I'm saying here, thanks for your attention. I'm the student journalist Li Jingjing.